If you hate notes and you just want to have fun texturing and detailing in Blender, this video is for you. We are about to drop yet another update, an alpha feature for our add-on MaterialWorks, which is going to allow you to add 860 decals and 20 plus trim sheets to your models with one click. And all the decals and all the trim sheets come with the add-on. Let me show you. Now I'm gonna pop to Cycles, but you can also use it in EV, but in EV the bevel feature will not work, the procedural bevel, because it's a node-based bevel, so it will work only in Cycles, which is why I like to work in Cycles. And by default, you know, your scene's gonna be black, because I mean dark, there's no HDRI, there's no lighting. So you would need to go to Shader Editor, add the nodes, I hate... When I see more than three nodes, I need to lay down and have a break, do you know what I mean? So. It's problematic for me. So all you need to do with our add-on is just click here and lighting appears, no problem. Now you also can choose from six HDRIs created by Alex Sancho in Keyshot, so the pro grade level HDRIs. You can also add your own, so you have all the lighting you need and they're fantastic. I'm gonna grab the simple one and we're just gonna pop them out here, okay? So that's the, you know, the basic features. You know the basic features of our add-on. If you don't, hop on our website and watch the, uh, the uh, video. But what I wanna show in this video is the decal and trim sheet update because this one is fantastic. So we used to have to use decal machine to add decals and trim sheets in order to run, you know, mats other than BSDF mats on decals and trims. You no longer need this add-on. All you need is our add-on unless you wanna bake decals and you need decal machine. But for adding trim sheets and decals, all you need is uh, material works. So if I press D and you'll see all the libraries, you're gonna have decals on the left and info decals on the right. And if you go to edit mode, and press, you're gonna see trim sheets. So the way it works, it's really simple. You press D and you simply stop a decal and the decal, when it lands, it automatically inherits the mat of the, of the model it lands on. If I change it, it's going to automatically update to that mat, which is really cool. Now this decal has two layers of mats because it's a subset decal. So you're gonna have to select the decal and adjust the mat in the middle manually to whatever you want. But if the decal is a simple decal, like for example this one, no matter what mat you're gonna drop, the decal is gonna completely update fully to that mat. That's how it works. Now, if you have more than one decals on the mesh, you can select all of them easily and adjust them at the same time, no problem, okay? Another thing you can do is you can drop decals on stuff like, you know, bevels. So let's say we have a bevel here and so let's just add the procedural bevel because it's fun. And I'm going to move this decal G, hold control, move it in here, scale it. And you can see that it's kind of flat. So what you can do, you can shrink wrap it. D, shrink wrap it, done. And it's going to add three modifiers, subdivision, shrink wrap and decimate. And it's going to adjust to the resolution of the mesh the decal is landing on. Now, if you want to bring it back up, no problem. Select the decal, click it again, done, modifier is gone. Easy peasy job and easy, right? Now, here's the fun stuff. D and emissive decal, boom. Now, what you can do, you can change emission from the menu. You don't have to go to notes, you don't have to find RGB notes, it's annoying as hell. And doesn't matter what color your emission is, you can change it to whatever the hell you want. In addition, you can also change the strength of it or just nuke it down to zero. Now, Proxy added an AO map to each of the emissive decals, which kind of flesh out the deals a little bit better, increases kind of like a nice separation between the lighting and the decal. Looks fantastic. Next thing, if you want to adjust the rotation of the decal, no problem. You just, you know, rotate it, hold shift. 15 degrees, hold shift and out, one degree PG, right? So there you go, that's decals. Now, another thing about decals, which is very really important, is the info decals. So let's drop, you know, one of these. And some of them gonna be a little bit too bright for the mat you are using. So if the decal is too bright for you, you can dump the brightness directly from uh, the menu by dropping the alpha slider. You see, so you can adjust the alpha all the way to zero and make it a little bit less intrusive and less vulgar. If you wanna change color of the decal, it's also easy. You go to matte, you go to uh, disconnect, and you change the matte in here to whatever color you want. And if you wanna make it emissive, no problem. You go here to emission, you change the color, and Bob's your uncle. You got the emissive decal, okay? 
Now let me show you trim sheets because that one is fun too. Now trim sheets are a bit different because they run on topology, right? They run on the object. They're not separate object like decals. They run on your UVs. So you can only add them in edit mode, which is why when you press D in object mode, you see decals and in edit mode, you're gonna see trim sheets. Now each of these trims contains sub trims. So if you're going to select a you know, loop of quads, that work fantastic with quads, D and go here and select a trim. Trim drops on your model. You can scroll your mouse to adjust it. You can press X to scale it. You can press G to move it, another G. So GG to move it you know, across the trim. So you can choose whichever trim you want. And you can press Y to scale it on Y axis. You have all the adjustments. You also can press F to fit it if it doesn't fit very well. Another thing you can do is you can easily change mud. So if I drop the trim sheet here, and you know, let's say I want I like this one and I want to change the mat. I change it to this one and the mat on the trim sheet updates as well, which is brilliant. If you want to run subdivision, no problem, just run sub D and you're good to go. So this is really cool. And you can run multiple trims obviously on your mesh. So if I grab this one, for example, and D and drop another trim, you know, no problem, right? You can just run multiple trims on your mesh. So uh, that's it. Now, in terms of edgeware, it works as well. So if I'm going to select my mat, so uh, in order to change uh, the features of your mat, you have to select the mat on the object, not the trim mat. So you have to select this copper, and then you will see you're gonna have you know edgeware um, options. You can click on edgeware, and it's going to add edgeware not just to the uh, mat but also to the trim sheet. And there you go. And if I'm going to remove it and change it to something else, it's going update as well. Now with decals, it works the same way. So if I drop a decal here, you see that the external layer is going to automatically inherit the mat of uh, of this object. And if I'm going to press D and adjust it, it's going to swap it to the mat in the middle as well. And if I swap it to something else, boom, it's going to adjust. And all you need to do is simply, you know, adjust this decal here in the middle and you are back in game. Where is it? There we go. And if I'm going to pop where on this one, it's going to again run through the trim sheets and through the decal. So it's really easy to work. So there you go. That's a new update. It's fantastic. It's really easy to, you know, to use it. And uh, obviously it's an alpha feature. So we're still kind of working on it and improving it. If you have any cool ideas or you have any bug reports, just hop on our Discord and drop it there. Do not send us email with technical questions because we can answer them. Now, for those of you who watch till the end, there's going to be a bit of a bonus here. I'm going to share with you some really cool news. This feature drops on Tuesday and if you're going to go on our website, you're going to be able to start a cool deal. So do that. The launch is going to be very quick and it's going to be a small window. And when you can secure this add-on with all these trim sheets and everything at a really good price. Now you're going to be getting again, 50 pro great mats created by a professional artist in Substance Designer, 25 edgeware maps, six HDRIs by Alex Sanchez from Keyshot and 860 decals and 20 plus trim sheets. It's insane. 21 million permutations, absolutely mental. Oh, by the way, you have also access to texture trim sheets. So if you want to run texture trim sheets, you can do it as well because we have 11 trim sheets which are non-textured and the rest is textured at the same trim sheet just textured so if you go into for example select one of these you will see that you're gonna have a textured trim sheet running on your mesh so these trims were textured in quicksaw mixer they come with preset texture so you don't have to worry about it but if you want to run our mats or any other mats on the trims you can just run the naked trims you know the, the pure trims without any textures and by the way you can add your own mats to the add-on. You can add your own Azure eyes to the add-on. And finally, you can link directly the decal machine asset library through this menu here. And it's going to allow you to use uh, decals both through decal machine and here, although the you know, shortcut keys shared its D key. So you have to turn off one of the other. But at the moment with this tool, you really need decal machine just for baking, which I would still recommend because it's a fantastic baking machine. But for using decals with our mats, you don't need it. You just need our add on and all the decals and trims and they come with it. So it's a full package right now and it's really cool. And the main reason why we had to develop this tool is because of multiple crashes and the complexity of working with Blender and two add ons at the same time. So it is 
decided fuck it let's develop our own tool because this is ridiculous and that's what we did so it's really cool and easy and also since the decals for our add-on do not run on blend files you don't have to update libraries at all so it's not gonna be annoying you just plug and play and you have a lot of fun so don't miss the release like i said tuesday 16th of september on our website the link to our page is in the video description and in the comment pin under the video the new alpha update is absolutely brilliant you're gonna love it it's gonna save you a ton of time like i said and big up the proxy for coding it you know this stuff is just amazing and i absolutely love it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one